Hey everyone, welcome to Simon Says. This is Shamir and I'm doing a demonstration of how to transcribe your files using the Simon Says website. You can log in with Apple or your Gmail, Google Suite account, Facebook or LinkedIn accounts. And when you sign in, you'll see this dashboard. It's got a couple of projects as a new user. And as you start to do more transcription and translation projects, you'll see more of them living in this dashboard. Click new project at the top right to start a new transcription project. You can drag in audio and video files to the big purple box or use cloud drives such as Google Drive, Dropbox, or Box. File sizes can be up to 20 gigabytes and a duration of up to four hours. You can add in an unlimited number of files to a project. While they import, give your project a name. Once your files import, the pay modal pops up. New users get free credit to try the site. Simon Says is effectively global. We support 100 transcription languages. Select the original language your recording is in here. If you want to translate, do not select the translation language here. That is a separate step and I'll talk about that at the end of this video. In a few minutes, your transcript will be ready. Ta-da, it's ready in our cool nifty transcript editor where the text and the video are always in sync. The magic of Simon Says is that each word has time code attached to it. That is really important, such as to quickly share specific spots in an interview, subtitle your video and preserve the correct subtitle timings, or translate your video subtitles. And it also makes going through the transcript to find the meaningful parts much easier, and I'd argue, fun. You'll see how the video and the text are always in sync. Jump forward in the transcript, the video jumps forward. Go back in the video, the transcript goes back. The transcript is highly accurate, especially if you use clean mics, have low or no background noise, and have very clear dialogue. The Simon Says transcript is editable like a Google Doc or a Word document. You can add speaker labels, you can make edits, bookmark and annotate all in this transcript editor. If there is a mistaken word, you can highlight that word and type over it. That new word will still have time code attached to it. If you want to add words, just type them in. To combine rows, use the backspace or click enter to create a new row. If you make an error, simply undo it. Simon says identify speakers in your transcript. Start adding speaker names and watch it automatically start tagging rows with those names. Go on, try editing now. I'll wait. There are a bunch of helpful shortcuts. Here are a few of them. For those on a Mac, hold Command and click the mouse on a word to have the video jump to that point. The equivalent on a Windows PC is Control plus mouse click. And for both operating systems, use Control and Spacebar to play or pause the video. To see the full list of shortcuts, click the question mark icon on the toolbar. You can also bookmark and add notes to a transcript. For example, if you want to mark an important quote or passage, bookmark it. Bookmarks carry through to the export, such as when you export to Microsoft Word and text. They become favorites in Final Cut Pro ranges, or you can export bookmarks for Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Annotation is also helpful to leave a note for yourself or your teammates, such as when you're going into the edit and you want to tell your editor to find a different shot or to look up a B-roll. Notes carry through to Word as comments and to Final Cut Pro ranges as markers. This can be a very powerful feature. When you make edits, Simon Says automatically saves in the background every few minutes. You need an internet connection to edit and to be able to save those edits. If you want to force save, just click the word save now. Simon Says is based on timecode for all those editing video. It can automatically read the timecode, frame rate, and resolution from files such as H.264 MOV files. If you need to edit any of those details, click the clock icon on the toolbar. When you're ready, click export. We have numerous export options. You can export to Microsoft Word or to your video editing application like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Avid Media Composer. If you want to subtitle or caption the video from here, you can either download the subtitles automatically formatted 
or you can use our visual subtitle editor where you can set how many characters per line and how many lines per subtitle card. In the visual subtitle editor, you can preview how subtitles will be formatted, make any edits, and then export to the desired subtitle format. It's a powerful way to preview how subtitles will look on screen. Want to collaborate with Teams or publish a transcript? Click Share. If you want to translate, you can also do it from the export screen. Click that same export button, click the translate icon, and then select the languages you want to translate your transcript to. Translation is a two-step process, so keep that in mind. Step one is to transcribe your project in the original language, and step two is to then export and translate that original transcript language to the desired translation languages. And that's how you transcribe and translate in minutes. Simon Says makes it so much easier to find the meaningful parts of your audio and video recordings, to edit video and audio quickly, to create captioned and accessible content, and to distribute videos for audiences all over the world. Thank you for trying Simon Says. If you have questions, click the chat icon at the bottom right.